Yo, what is going on guys? It is Tio here and I'm back with the pickups. In this episode, I'll be focusing on my pickups from like somewhere near like mid-February to like um March 4th. This is a whole jumble of stuff. A lot of these dates I don't even remember, so we're just gonna go down to whatever orders on the table. I know where I got this stuff, I just couldn't tell you when I got it. So let's start here with for 40 cents down at repurposed. Sometime back in February. It was I think this is like a portable charging dock thing for the uh, portable power supply for the PSX. I think maybe it looks like it would fit it. Same ports. I don't know. It was forty cents, so I snagged it. I figured why not. And then for five bucks, I got a uh, car charger for the uh, Game Boy Pop, Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, and the Game Gear and Nomad, which is awesome. So I can play my game gear on the go, which is always fun. And then I was at Half Price Books. This was one of the first few pickups I remember. We got two VHSs here. We got the Skateboard Kid, because that actually looks pretty interesting. And Pokemon 2000, the movie. Can't complain about Pokemon. And this was a more recent thing, but whatever. Uh, for two bucks, got a little Scooby-Doo uh, lunchbox, and it has some goodies inside, like... Uh, some pens, band-aids, rings, etc., etc. For two bucks, this is actually a pretty cool lunchbox. Mystery machine, all that jazz. So, yeah. Had to go pick up Scoob. <sighs> I'm surprised I'm showing you guys this as early as I am. Oh, my God. So, it was, what was the day? Let me, let me check. This was... I believe that was President's Day. President's Day, which was the 20th of February. I went out game hunting. First place I hit up was the Half Price Books. Find nothing over in the general area, general video game section, and so I sprawl over to clearance. I'm sorry for the smacking, I just, I don't know why I'm smacking my lips so much. But, in the clearance section, I'm looking, okay, there's nothing, and then something catches my eye. I'm like, ooh. Okay. I'm like, what? This has to be just like a case or something. I pull it out, I'm like, it's priced clearance. And I open it up. It's complete, and the disc is... is in a really damn good shape. I, I just stopped. I just went right to the counter, paid. I got a 20% discount on it because I sent it for the email rewards program, and I left. I got in the car and was screaming. Like, what in the hell did I just find? $2 for this, guys. Actually, it was like a buck 60 something, actually. Complete copy out of half price books clearance, not the clearance event, but an actual in store clearance section. Super Smash Bros. Melee. I got Melee for two bucks. Right there. Right there. Two bucks. Two bucks. I, I can't fake this guy. Complete. I don't even know what to say. Honest to God, I don't even know what to say. Besides, thank you, Lord. <laughs> like, seriously. I, no, I did not, like, just put that in, like, a case or something and just say, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is two bucks. No, it, I... <sighs> that was something else. I'm not making that up, I swear to God. Ask, like, anyone in, like, the Pittsburgh Country Gaming Group. No. That that actually happened. Two dollars. Yeah. Smash Bros. <sighs> Anyways, let's get back to reality here. So, I spent, like, what, five bucks on this? We got... Or no, six bucks on this. We got ESPN, International Track and Field, on the Dreamcast. Yeah, we're just gonna pretend, like, that never happened, because I'm not gonna get through this video, then. And then Goodwill, sometime, two bucks. We got the Nick at Night Classic TV Trivia Game. Um, 
All the cards are in here. Uh, it's Nick. This time it's at night, so why not? Okay, again, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm so jumbled right now, guys. Um, and this was um, Tuesday, last Tuesday, whatever. I think like February 28th. The boy Benna showed me these because we, we were out. He's like, hey, he, well, first off, we went there the first time. I didn't find anything. And then as we got in the car driving off, he's like, oh, hey, I saw these in there. I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? So we went back to the Goodwill and I got these. And of course, you know, with their new discount program, students get 25% off on Tuesday. So 25% off these bad boys. I paid like 450 something for two official Game Boy Advance SP chargers. Thank you, Goodwill. Thank you. And I was at Target the other day, something like that. I don't remember, like some night. And uh, for four bucks on clearance, four bucks on clearance, we have We Fit You with the big box, with the fit meter included. This thing was like still sealed. Um, let me pull out the game for you. You see, we fit is still sealed. Uh, the, uh, the meter is still sealed. So I thought for four bucks for my collection, yeah, because I had the game in the uh, the meter, just not the box. So I thought, why not for four bucks complete, brand new? Sure. Give me a new Wii U game for less than five bucks. <laughs> okay, easy. And then Goodwill sometime um, for two bucks here. We got Pure Pinball, American Pinball Reborn, on the Xbox and. I didn't know this game actually exists, and it's an Xbox exclusive, so I thought, why not? Good shape, 30, or I was going to say 30 bucks. Why did I say 30 bucks? Complete, two bucks, short. Sure. What? I'm a jumbled mess. I'm sorry, guys. I've, I've been busy the past few weeks before I'm filming this, and this is just, I'm disoriented. So, um, this was just the other day as well. It was at the Goodwill in Gibsonia. And for two bucks here, I got... Pretty much still sealed, uh, Dishonored Platinum Hits. Because the old little spy is still attached, so Dishonored, yeah, two bucks. And then also, I'm a, I was really excited to get this. Blue's big musical movie. As you know, I'm getting Nickelodeon shit, and more Nickelodeon for my bang. So that was awesome. Oh, and the Dreamcast game I need for my set, so yeah, that's awesome too. And that's not all that I got, guys. It gets better. It gets better. So we're going to fast forward to that stuff right now. Okay, we're back. So why don't I have an Xbox box in my hand? Xbox box. Say that three times fast. But this is, just getting this out of the way here. On Friday, this was like on the 3rd of the Switch release day. Switch day. Switchmas. Um, I did a trade, or not a trade. I did a deal off a of Craigslist for 30 bucks. Does that say Spoder, please? What, is, what does that even say? Oh, controllers sold separately. I thought it on the... This is Spoder, please. Like, oh my god. Okay, never mind. But I did a trade. I Not a trade. Oh my god. I bought something off of Craigslist. 30 bucks. Original Xbox with the box and a 360 Slim. And unfortunately, the Slim does not work. So I'm about to have Phil repair that. But 30 bucks. Just want to show you the box because there's no point showing you the consoles. And let's get back to reality here because that was a complete mess. Did a trade with my friend Lexi's little brother Cam. Unexpected trade, but it worked out. I ended up getting a Wii from them as well, but their Wii, the Wii got pretty much uh, destroyed uh, in a thunderstorm. So I'm going to have Phil look at that as well. Phil, you're going to have a lot of stuff to look at. And so, with that being said, I got this stuff for trade. I traded him, what, a GameCube and a few games. What, what, why, is, why are these in here? Uh, why are these in here? Okay, that's new to me. Anyways, um, so I traded um, GameCube and a couple games, uh, a couple Wii controllers, and Kirby Superstar Ultra for all this. For all this, guys. We got a 2DS manual. I found AR cards in it, which I didn't realize they were in there. So, 2DS manual. Sealed copy of Glee Karaoke Revolution. Everyone's favorite. Um, And then we got some... 3DS games you guys will love. Okay. Pokemon Y. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Yokai Watch. Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. And Gravity Falls. 
Those 3DS games. Yeah. So we got Battleship, Connect 4, Sorry and Trouble on the DS. And this is just the case only, but inside it holds my other games I got. Which were Amazing Adventures, The Forgotten Ruins, I Spy Funhouse, Marvel Superhero Squad, Power Rangers Samurai, and Pokemon White. All card only. Indiana Jones, Lego Indiana Jones, Hot Wheels Battle Force 5, Beyblade, Metal Fusion, I Spy Universe, Cars, Mater, National, National, I Spy Castle, and Professional Fisherman's Tour, Northern Hemisphere. Why does this game exist? But all that was in trade, and those 3DS games made it well worth it. Well worth it. So thank you, Cam, for that. I really appreciate it, and hope we can do business again soon. So anyways, now that I'm off that business pitch, went back game hunting with Adam Gunstar. Yep. We went out again. Yesterday, the 4th of March. And he bought, well, first off, he bought this for me during the week. Two bucks... Complete in box. Nickelodeon's... Oh my god. Atlanta Scorpanis. I don't know. I'm I'm stupid today. I'm really stupid today. So we got Atlanta Scorpanis complete in box. Two bucks. I ended up paying him back by buying a $2 board game at a thrift shop. So it all worked out. But first and foremost, we went out. And it was actually a really good day for me. Really good day. So we went to Red and Blue on 65. I ended up getting just the Madden 06 case because somebody decided to... Uh, be a cheapskate and not buy a, a Madden game, so sure. And we got for a dollar here a Rugrats my size puzzle with Tommy Pickles. I've already built this thing and it, this is this was cool. I'm not sure if it actually is over three feet tall. I never bothered to measure. It looked like it was about it, so I'm just gonna just gonna go with it, saying it was three feet tall. But for a buck, why not? It was really cool. And then, okay, funny enough, actually, at this red, out and blue. They had VHSs for four bucks each, and they had a sealed copy of like some some really stupid movie for eight bucks because it was sealed. Mind you, went to the other Red Alert Thrift Shop, one on fifty one. They were selling VHSs eight for a dollar. Just think about that. You can go down the road, so about ten minutes down the road, you can go and buy yourself an eight dollar sealed VHS. Or you can go the other one and buy eight VHS tapes for a dollar. Sealed or whatever. Yeah. So I'm going to show this first because let's get it out of the way. Uh, a couple crapshoot ones I had to do just to fill it. So I thought, why not? This is not a crapshoot. We got Happy Gilmore, Universal Comedy Greats, still sealed. So brand spanking new. We got Blue's Clues. Play along with Blue, ABCs, and 1-2-3s. Nickelodeon. You got Saturday Night Live, the best at Chris Farley. Then again, you need to fill some space. And this is definitely needed to fill some space. We got Diane Horner, Country Line Dancing. Over 1 million sold because it was as seen on TV. Yeehaw, bitches. We got Oswald on the go, VHS. Beavis and Butthead, Law Abiding Citizens. Did not know Beavis and Butthead was actually on VHS. And neither was... The no South Park was either. South Park Volume 3. And the Little Bear movie. Nickelodeon. Not actually Nickelodeon license, but it's... It was on Nickelodeon. Borrowed from Nevola or whatever the company is. From Telemundo. From YTV in Canada. I know a lot about Nickelodeon. As far as their Canadian counterpart. So, yeah. And also from that. So that was a buck. We got these... These things. Dish. We got for a dollar the the uh, ringtone. We got for a dollar. We have the Sega PC collect Sega PC collection Sonic and Knuckles with Sonic Three, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Three and Knuckles. What? It literally says Sonic Three and Knuckles. Uh, okay, so Sonic, sure, Sonic on the PC. Then a buck fifty for this PS One gem, brat. Dress up, get down, and be a brat superstar. Oh, you know I'm going to be a brat superstar easily. Show that last. Let me show that last. Okay. And then for two bucks on the Genesis, complete in box, we got NBA All-Star Challenge. Turns out I actually lost out on this one. We went to, we went to a couple of exchanges a bit later on, and I ended up finding there was this for a buck. 
I won the exchanges, and I got it for two at a thrift shop. I got beaten up by the exchange versus a thrift shop. That's embarrassing, but sure, two bucks, whatever. And uh, here's where we go. All right, we're going to get good here. So two GameCube games I needed. Well, first off, didn't have this entirely. NBA Live 06, two bucks, great shape, sure. And I had this, just not manual, and this is in better shape. NCAA Football 05. Now, I go up to the, the front window, and they have some games in there, and this is one of them. Adam, it was either myself or Adam are going to walk out with this game. It, we knew it was leaving the store, we just didn't know who it was leaving with. So I decided to bite the bullet on it because I had a disc-only copy of this, and this thing is in fantastic shape. So for 15 bucks, which was a, a really good deal already, complete copy of Pokemon Coliseum. And Adam, this is going on my shelf, going on my shelf right there in the peas. Next to Pokemon Channel and uh, Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. Yeah, it's going there. Right on the shelf. For 15 bucks for that, it, great shape, in great shape. So I, I decided to bite the bull. And it was well worth it, in my opinion. So thank you, Red, White, and Blue. And then we went down the road to the Goodwill, which is double, double, dubbed as double, 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 double. Dubbed as Whitehall. So I got two bucks with the stuff here. We got Will Ferrell's Anchorman. I didn't even know Anchorman was on VHS, to be quite honest. But got it on VHS now. And then we got this Pokemon Ranger in the Temple of the Sea. 100-piece puzzle for a dollar. Somebody will enjoy this Pokemon puzzle. So, yeah. Why not snag it for a buck? And then went to the exchange out in Dormont. And I got some great great titles here uh in the front of the store they had like a little rack of dollar titles pretty much like anything like under five bucks but a lot of them were bucks so i'm like okay let's stock up so for the wii a dollar naked brothers band video game nickelodeon title victorious time to shine connect game obviously it's shit and i never knew this actually existed we got dave mira bmx challenge on the wii i, I, I never knew this actually existed so for a buck sure and then I was excited to see this. I asked where the VHSs were. They showed me. I looked. I found this. I was happy. Yeah. Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. So little time. Volume 2. Boy crazy. Yep. Rob, we got another VHS of Mary Kay and Ashley. Yeah, we're both excited, I know. Yes. More Mary Kay and Ashley off the list. And lastly, there's an Ninja Electronics, like couple blocks down from that exchange so i walked down there and let me tell you ninja electronics is a weird store because you can sometimes find stuff for great prices or you can find them for ridiculous prices i got lucky here they had a buy two get one free sale and they were looking prices up as i brought them up so they never had them price tagged so i ended up paying five bucks for all three of these games they wanted three bucks for this and i was like okay <laughs> i expected a lot more so for the dreamcast wwf royal rumble complete Okay, three bucks. Two bucks for this complete on the GameCube. Yet they wanted like seven bucks for like sports titles on the GameCube. It was weird. Army Man Sarge's War. And here was the original 15 buck case for the uh, Pokemon Coliseum. I swapped it out already because I want to have a better case for that. So Army Man Sarge's War complete. Good shape. And then the freebie, which was ended up being a dollar, so it was free. Backyard Baseball on the PS2. I want to get this thing on the GameCube still. But I thought for a buck, because, and for, well, it'll be for free first off, and because I have component cables on the PS2, it'll be good quality, and I can actually work on my backyard baseball experience, because th there's a history of me and, me and one of my buddies on this game. I need to work it up. I need to work up my backyard baseball skills. So anyways, that's all that I got. I'm sorry this whole thing was a mess, but I got a lot of stuff. A lot of actually really good stuff for the collection. A lot of random stuff. Yeah, that, that Smash Bros. pretty much was the peak of this episode by far. I, I still can't believe I got that. that. That's literally about to be money in my pocket. It's great. So anyways, guys, that's all. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give a thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll put a link down below to Gunstar's channel. Go check him out. As per usual, he does a lot of Sega stuff. Because that's his little niche. And I'm kind of in that niche as well. Just not as much as he is. So anyways, go check him out. Um, 
you know what else you can check out because no one else's YouTube channel. Anyways, that's all. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh, I'll actually put Nick's channel down below in the description if I remember to. I, I will. So anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching once more, guys. And as per usual, and as always, I will talk to you guys next time.